Well, hello you guys and welcome back to my channel today where I am feeling like I just can't get my hair right. It's one of those days, that's what's going on in my world. It's just like whatever and I gotta move on. I gotta get going here <laughs> today in this video. It's not about my hair, it's gonna be about drugstore makeup. I recently took you guys along with me to do a little Target makeup hunt because there's been a lot of new makeup products launching at the drugstore. So I picked up a bunch of new drugstore makeup. We're gonna be trying them on my face today and we're gonna see which ones are maybe new favorites because there's a couple in there and which ones are duds and I need to warn you about to stay clear of because it's just a no 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 that's what we're gonna be doing make sure you subscribe if you aren't yet if you want to see more videos from me I post on Tuesdays Thursdays and Saturdays ready to get going and if you're ready to see what products we're gonna try out today how they perform all of that stuff yada 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 then let's get going boo okay let's just get into it all right let's go boop Alright, hello and welcome, welcome, welcome to my face. Let's paint it, okay? Let's play. Let's have some fun. Okay, so first of all, I'm gonna do my base first because I'm not using any new shadows that are powder. I'm using those cream shadow sticks. So I'm gonna start with this Revolution Super Dewy Blurring Balm. Revolution Beauty, I really usually tend to enjoy their face products and I love the Revolution Beauty Blur Balm, no, Pour Blur something some kind of some kind of primer so i'm hopeful for this one this looks like it could be another dupe for the tasha dewey primer thingy i know elf has them too but you know just more options or even just more accessible so this is what the packaging no the packaging look like this this is what the inside looks like and oh it's very nice it's very lovely and like luxurious there's a mirror in there it just has like a really satisfying magnetic closure just bloop and it magnetizes that's kind of nifty i'm gonna just kind of rub my finger into it and see if i pick up enough product that way or if i need to scoop some out hold on oh 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 Oh, it's a nice silky smooth feel. Oh, and a light kind of essential oil kind of scent to it. This feels really silky. It is silicone based and I don't mind silicone bases, but it feels really lovely. It seems to warm up fine if you want to just like rub your fingers into it instead of scooping. That seems to be picking it up now that it's kind of warmed up. So I'm not using any new foundations or concealers because I want to see how this performs. So I'm just going to grab my favorite ColourPop Pretty Fresh foundation. This one works really well with the e.l.f. Putty primers. So I think that it'll pair nicely with this one, this Revolution one. And then I'm going to go in with the e.l.f hydrating camo concealers really quickly and then we'll continue on okay there is the base all padded on everything went on just like it normally would super simple but i was reading the packaging for this revolution super dewy so i was just focusing on it smoothing blurring out the pores it does seem to do that which i really enjoy very similarly to how tatcha one was and the elf pore blurring primer however it does say it's mattifying so it says as a mattifying base before makeup application or you can even touch it up like if you don't set, I wouldn't put this over powder, but like if you just don't use powder, you can use it to mattify. But it didn't feel matte going on and it didn't look matte and it doesn't look matte. So I don't see the mattifying that they're talking about. So I think if you have oily skin, you probably would prefer one of the e.l.f. mattifying primers better than this one. But if you are more dry like me, I think that this one looks really nice. It kind of feels like the Luminous Putty Primer that I use from e.l.f. without the little micro shimmers in there. There's no shimmer whatsoever. I think it looks really nice so far. So as long as it wears throughout the day, I like that. And I, like I said, I like that there's more dupe options to that Tatcha one because back in the day when I was using the Tatcha one, I don't know if you've been around my channel for that long, I did not like it. I tried and I tried and I tried and I tried it. I did not like it. It didn't work with any of the foundations that I pair it with. It didn't work with my skin or something. I don't know what it was, but I didn't like it. So moving on. So next up, I want to try this Pacifica Fluffy Blushy. I picked this up on my Target makeup hunt with you guys. And I, no, I saw it there. I picked it up at Ulta actually because I could use a coupon. So I saw it there, but it was already on the way because you got to save where you got to save. Okay. So this launch right here has been the Fluffy Blushy was like the most exciting launch from Pacifica, I think in like the last year or two, nothing has really like stood out to me, but this, however, I have to say, I need to go back and get that little perfume discovery kit because those smelled incredible. Oh my goodness. So I'm going to take my little elf blending brush on one side and we'll see if it goes nicely. I got to feel it because it's called fluffy blushy. 
Oh, so it's like the putty blush from e.l.f. It feels exactly like the putty, putty blush. What shade did I get? I got the shade Sunset, which is like a coral. Surprise, surprise, a coral blush for Ashley. It matches my hair perfectly, which is just what I love. So I'm just gonna dip right in. If the blush doesn't go well, I'll use my sponge. Oh, it looks when you, yeah, it looks more fluffy and moussey when you dip your blush in, brush. I hate saying blush and brush at the same time because I mix the words up constantly. <laughs> Let's pop that on the cheeks right here. And I haven't set my base, of course. I thought I got a lot on my brush, but I guess I need to go in for some more. Pacifica is known to be like really light and on the natural side. So I do predict I will have to build this up a little bit. And then because I'm gonna be setting my base, cause I can't walk around with a sticky face. I just can't. I'm gonna add a little extra than I normally would. And then you can kind of see the color too. Like it is a very beautiful coral orange base kind of color, really pretty. And then just for funsies, cause we're just having fun today. Let me take my sponge on the other side. Cause I know some of you guys like to apply it with a sponge. So we'll see if that goes just as swimmingly, but I, I love this freaking elf brush. It is called the what? airbrush stipple and it was totally that video of I think it was raw beauty Christie shopping with Samantha like pff, a long time ago and they were like hunting for that and I'm like oh I want it too and then I got it so I was influenced totally influenced man they got me with the word fluffy <laughs> they totally did I don't know what I was expecting but it's just totally like the elf putty blush like so just think of that if you have that for reference except this is actually building up more. The e.l.f. putty blush on me looks more glowy. This is kind of setting down to almost matte, not mattifying, but just like a matte, simple blush. It's not glowy or anything. Well, they do have some glowy ones. This one, Sunset, doesn't look glowy at all. Looks completely of a matte, a matte finish. It's going on nicely with the sponge too. It will, takes a little bit longer. I do prefer how diffused the brush side looks. That's just personal preference, still worked fine. So for setting, you guys, for setting, I'm gonna grab that ColourPop Pretty Fresh powder, uh, setting powder. I thought it was a foundation. It's not necessarily, it's called the Pressed Face Powder. They do have a range of shades. So uh, last time I tried this on the video with you guys, when I was, uh, what was that? I don't know, I think it was like an Ulta makeup hunt or something, I don't know, I got it. I thought it was an actual face powder. I don't believe it to be. I think it's just like a tinted setting powder. I've been trying it different ways, trying to get it to work for me. I don't really love it to be honest, but I wanted to show it again with you guys how I've been using it. The best way for me has been to set my under eyes. <clears throat> Hang on, I need to tap off the excess here. So it adds like a little tiny bit of color on the under eyes, but if I go too much, it just gets too matte. So if you're more oily and you need like a touch of color in your setting powder, then this pressed powder from ColourPop might be a good option. But if you're dry like me, I would say skip it. I don't know. I just, I'm not completely sold on it. I tend for pressed powders, pressed setting powders to like ones that will assist in the pore department, you know? Like it looks nice, but nothing really special. I just had higher hopes. I was, I mean, I was just hoping that this was a powder foundation, but it totally, it totally is not a powder foundation, but like compared to the sides, like, yeah, this side does look pretty nice. I feel, but I wouldn't use any more powder than that. Cause then that'll be way too much, but it doesn't do anything different than any other setting powder would be. I don't know. And also because it's a part of the pretty fresh line, I was expecting it to be more fresh looking, more hydrated looking. I wouldn't, I wouldn't expect it to be this matte, you know, cause the pretty fresh line is all about that glowy fresh face. <laughs> I don't, I don't really get, it. I don't really know. I don't really know what's going on with ColourPop to be honest. I know I've spoke about that recently, but I'm kind of, I'm kind of confused. Okay. And then I just take my fluffy brush and just dust it gently on everywhere else. And you'll see, I didn't lose any of the blush. Well, like I lost a little bit, but like enough that like now that blush level is perfect. So I'm going to go bronze contour highlight, and then we're going to move on to brows. Cause I got a new brow product to try for my brow journey that I'm going on. Okay. Brought you guys in a little bit so you can see what's going on with my eyes better. I used for bronzer and blush in case you're interested for highlight not blush, you already know what blush I use, but for highlight, I use the Dolce Vita Baked Highlighter from Kiko Milano, it was last summer's collection. And then 
The bronzer was just the instant summer from hard candy that I tried in the last drugstore try on video. But let me grab this from Makeup Revolution. It's the extra hold brow glue. Okay, so is this gonna be, oh, I should have used this first, shoot. <laughs> is this gonna be like my Patrick Ta one that I'm trying to replace? We'll find out. If it is though, I probably should have done it before my foundation. Oh well, we'll see. We'll see how this goes. If I can get it out. Oh my goodness, that was really in there. Oh, it was glued to the bottom. Okay, with a little one of those gluey sticky tabs. Well, thanks, that was uh, frustrating. <laughs> so let me pop this on. Has a bigger wand and a totally different one than the Patrick Ta one, which is right here. This is the Patrick Ta and it's all gross now, but it's like super webby. It has one of those brushes that I would hate for mascara, but I love it for my brows. It's this really unique, interesting, has little bristles on one side and then a flat part that you press down on the other. This one is more like a mascara type of wand or what you would typically see in some eyebrow products, except it's kind of long, the brush part. So I'm not, I don't really like that off the bat. And it also does not feel nearly as gluey as even the NYX brow glue, so. <sighs> Let's see, very, very, very wet going on. Not stringy like the Patrick Ta, which could be, could be good, could be bad, depending on, you know, the Patrick Ta one can get too much, but I need like, I need a lot of hold. My brows need a lot of hold. I'm trying to get that laminated fluffy brow look. In case you didn't know, I'm going on a journey this year with my brows, trying to find products that like, I really love and will last throughout the day. Feels like it puts on too much product. Ooh, wipe off the excess. Use the side of this brush to just kind of press and roll it. Yeah, like that's okay. That's, that's good, but will it last throughout the day? That's the hardest thing to find. Also, ugh, it totally mixes weird with my foundation, as most do. That's on me. I should have done it ahead of time because it is coagulating and getting really gross. Mayday! Oh, but see, it's like laying down too fast and it, ooh, okay. Let's try this again, pressing up. This is already way more difficult than the Patrick Ta one for sure. Ooh, but it is kind of stringing a little bit like the Patrick Ta one does. So it could be a dupe if I did it before my foundation. Dang it, dang it, dang it. If that stays like that, I'll be happy and I'll be hopeful. So let me take some more. This time I'm gonna wipe off the excess because it just it just deposited way too much. This brush is not it. What I like right now in this moment as I'm speaking is I put a little bit on this brow already as I was going like kind of back and forth. And now that it dried down a little bit, it's okay. It's letting me rework it in where if the Patrick Ta one, you put it on and you don't, you do not touch it again. <laughs> don't even think about it or it'll get gloppy and gooey and gross. This one's doing fine. Okay, it is drying. So I'm going to let that dry and we'll see how it handles pencil because I do need to fill them in. It did fall a little bit over here where it's kind of doing a sweeping with my eyebrow, but I'm still hopeful. I think, I really think if I applied it, before all my face products, things could go a little bit smoother in that department. But let's try the product that I instantly regretted when I bought it. It was the Revolution Lion King eyeliner trio called the Three Best Friends. I didn't realize it was $16 either when I bought it. I thought it was marked for eight. And then when I looked at the receipt, I was like, oh, <laughs> 16, I don't know. Not that it's like, you get, it's a lot of product in there, but it's called eyeliners and these are, these are like eye sticks. These are not eyeliners to me. Those are really jumbo. And I just don't know if I'm here for that. It's just not might be, oh, it does have one of those really crappy sharp sharpeners on the other side that they claim you can sharpen with it. And I just disagree wholeheartedly. But you know what? Let's give them a try anyways. And let's see how it goes. These are the swatches of them though, for those that are interested. These are layered up. However, this is like one quick swipe. Well, you'll see it's, it's kind of sheer, so. That's what I expected. They just named it the wrong thing, in my opinion. I don't consider these to be eyeliners. Actually, let's pop Let's pop the gold one in the inner corner. Ooh, that's actually really pretty on the inner corner because it has like a bit of that shiny, sheeny sparkle. And I see my brows are 
getting that skin flaky look, which is not cute. It looks like I have a problem. My eyebrows are like really just <laughs> dry and flaky, which it's the makeup, not my brows. I like that on the inner corner. I do. If anything else, these would be cute on the inner corner probably. Pink is almost like a little less shimmery than the other ones. So let's do pink on the end. Let me go in with the teal one next. I'll first, pff, let's try the sharpener. <laughs> you know, they included it. It must be, it must be tested and vetted, right? I just think these are like so stupid and such a waste of product. That does nothing. It does nothing but like pull off. <laughs> pull off the first like centimeter of product. Thank you, that was such a waste. Okay, <laughs> and then where does it go? Ah, all over the place. Oh my gosh, don't use those. Terrible, terrible. All of them, even high-end brands do that and it's so stupid. So let me try to use it as like a top liner first. Like it goes on, it's just too thick. I'm eating my words, that shade is really pretty. I'm mad about them calling it an eyeliner. That's what it is. That's what I'm mad about because it's just way too thick for an eyeliner. That's an eye pencil, okay? All right, I'm done talking about it. Let me go in with the pink. Oh, just kidding, I hate this pink one. It is way too sheer for a pink. I hate it. Oh my gosh, I hate it. Well, the last thing you wanna do on your like delicate, like, eye area next to your lash lines have to like rub and rub and tug and tug you know Ooh, or do they blend nice together though i don't know so that's the eyeliner like okay all right that's fun i'm not i love color okay obviously let me use it though like as a shadow stick and see how that works this one is just too sheer that is so frustrating yeah where'd it go <laughs> hello Okay, doesn't work as that. Does the blue one work as that? Before I like go and try to spend time evening it out, is this just gonna not even work out for me today? The blue is sparkly and really pretty. The blue is saving the day. This this is carrying the whole set, okay? Cause it's shimmery, it's pretty. It's actually padding out. It's padding out kind of sheer, but still really sparkly and pretty. That pink one is pointless. Pointless, pointless, pointless. Yeah, that blue one's really pretty though. Okay, all right. A little redemption and also like frustration <laughs> wrapped into one box. So if you want that, go for it. Just trying to layer up the pink a little bit, trying to get it to work for me. Oh, just, just a little too sheer. I would want it to go down here. Maybe if I just don't touch it, like layer it and don't try to tap it out. Don't try to smudge it. It looks way better on the lower lash line. And does it work on the waterline since it is an eyeliner? No. <laughs> no, it does not. Hello, are you there? Like a wash of shininess, maybe. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it, but the other two are doing fine as long as they don't crease on me. I, they still feel a bit of tackiness, so I might need to set it with another matching eyeshadow, but then what's the point of them? I don't understand. Okay, let's move on. I'm so excited for this one, but are my brows dry? Yes, okay, let me fill in my brows really quickly. I'm gonna use my CoverGirl micro brow pencils like I normally do. Let's see how those apply over the Makeup Revolution glue. I'm gonna have to show you guys these brows. Man, do they look crusty dusty, which is literally why I'm trying to get rid of the Patrick Ta one. Ay, but, 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 but. You'd be surprised to know that I am still hopeful because there's like a part of me that wonders maybe too much of my foundation mixed into it or something. Let me show you. Okay, I hope you can see how crusty, especially this one looks. This one actually doesn't look as bad. So maybe maybe it's the foundation that got mixed in. They feel dry, they look dry, they look flaky and crusty. So as, as I did them on my base already being done, no, 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 no. But I can't use the Patrick Ta one that way either. So I'm going to try this on just my, it's fresh face skincare, like that's it. No foundation or anything, no eyeshadow done. And we'll see how it looks that way. Okay guys, I can't do it to myself again. I was gonna do it one more day. 
I have already used this for three days now, just like I said, without any makeup or anything done, just like I would use the Patrick Tall one, and it is bad. It is sticky, crunchy, not good, and then it doesn't even last throughout the day, and then I can feel it on my brows, like I'm very aware of my brows all the time, and it just does not, it doesn't. So this is a no-go, bye-bye. <laughs> okay, let's move on to eyeliner. You guys, I was searching for this like a month ago when we went Walmart hunting with me, and I finally was able to get it in my hands. Where did I get it from? Target. Yes, I finally found it at the Target makeup hunt. This is the CoverGirl Exhibitionist Liquid Eyeliner. Long, what, what's so good about this is number one, it's matte, which is hard to find a felt tip matte liquid liner. Number two, it's called the CoverGirl Exhibitionist, which if you didn't know, I love the mascara. This is like my seventh one. I finally let myself rebuy. I was trying to use up a bunch of other mascaras before I let myself rebuy another one. And I feel like I went through like two tubes. I'm like, okay, I can, I can go back to my favorite again. I miss it, I miss it. So I got this. Let's see a swatch of this really quickly though. Ooh, that richness, that richness. I like felt tips. I don't like brush tips because I find them to fray really easy. Let's do a wing, why not? Oh, girl, yes. Yes, 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 yes. Do I have the Reading Rainbow theme song stuck in my head in this very moment? I do. I do. Butterfly in the sky. I could go twice as high. Well, dang, girl. I like that. And it is, it is matte. It is matte. And I like that. Okay, we got a winner here. We got a winner, winner, chicken dinner. I love it. But all I can also, but all I can honestly see is that that pink, liner already smudged a lot and I don't see it right here on the mobile lid. No, no, no. But the eyeliner freaking is saving the day. That looks really pretty. Ooh, this eyeliner. I love it. Okay, CoverGirl Exhibitionist Liquid Liner. If you need a good felt tip matte drugstore, there you go. Boo! Now let me go in with some new lippies. I have a couple to test out for you guys. So first I'm gonna use this e.l.f. Glossy Lip Stain that I got in the Target Makeup Hunt. I think it was like six bucks, three to six dollars. And it just looks like, it's the same size as the e.l.f the little eye glitters and eye shimmers, the liquid ones. So if you want a size reference, it is quite small. And I got the shade Pinkies Up. So let's compare it to all these swatches on my hand. Ooh, yeah, it has some color to it. Let's see on my bare lips how it looks. Oh, I like it. It's moussey, but like glossy at the same time. It's a really nice, unique consistency. This one is called Pinkies Up. It does have a pink tone to it. It's actually getting darker on my lips as it sits on. Are you noticing that? Oh, interesting. That feels really, really good. That looks glossy. It's kind of one of those though, though, because it has that moussey feel, you definitely feel it on your lips. So if you don't like that feeling of something on your lips, you won't like this. And I could see it probably not lasting long throughout the day because it has like such a slip to it, like a silky slip to it. But it feels really hydrating, which is which is what my lips do need. However, I also want to try one of these lip glosses that Essence sent me in this disco ball. How freaking cool is that? So they have these Extreme Shine Volumizing Lip Glosses. Are they both the same? Extreme shine, yeah, they're all extreme shine and there's just different colors to choose from. So I'm gonna do some lip liner and pick out a little glossy gloss to try on and we're gonna see how those ones are. I forgot it's also called the glossy lip stain. It definitely stained my lips, but it looks nice. So when it does wear down the e.l.f. product, you'll be left with a tint on your lips, which is nice. Obviously, it's nice, it's nice. Have you heard it? It's nice. <laughs> how many times can I say it's nice? But anyways. Okay, I would like to see how much pigmentation is in this one. This one is called Peach Please. Hello, am I attracted to peach colors? Yes, I am. Corals and peaches, hello. Uh, these ones are also only $3.99 a piece. Ulta, Amazon, and Essence website. Has like a triangular shaped doe foot applicator. Oh. Oh, she does have a little bit of pigment in there. And a very shiny, as described. Okay, I quite like that. 
And I paired it with the LA Girl Shockwave lip liner in the shade Coquette, Croquet, Coquette, Coquette. Oh my gosh, I'm terrible. It is a little bit, mm, it has a slip to it too. That's really nice. Not sticky. Feels good. I don't see this one lasting a long time either. And I don't feel a plumping. It does say it plumps, but I think it's more in like a hydration kind of way. It's not tingly whatsoever. It says want visibly plumped up lips with stunning non-sticky shine. I agree with that, but I just, it's not, even though it says plumping, it's not a plumping type of lip gloss. At least this one isn't. Oh, here's extreme plump. Oh, I see. I like plumpers. I like that feeling on my lips. I, I read something somewhere that that's actually like a sensory thing. And um, that makes sense. I don't know. I love plumping lip glosses and I always have one on hand. So this one, it says extreme plumping. So then this, will this one have that feeling in it? Let me try for you. Oh, it's so shiny too. It's so sparkly. And it smells like some kind of summer product that I just love. It's not overpowering. It's not sweet. It's just nice. Ah, oh, that is a lot of shine. That's a lot of shine. If you don't take off the excess though, I mean, it will string up a little bit and gather. So make sure do that little Marilyn Monroe trick, take off all that excess so that you're not getting all that goopiness. I feel a slight tingly sensation with that now that it's been on for a minute, the volume, the extreme plumping one. So if you're looking for that, it's doing that, but it's slightly cooling, not intense whatsoever. Not like the Too Faced Extremes or the Too Faced Lip Injections, nothing like that. Okay, I was wrapping up this video and then I realized, oh, I have one more product to try for you guys. And it's the Revolution Freckle Me Brow Freckle Pen, Brow Freckle. Is everything brows to me today? <laughs> I guess so. It's the Freckle Pen, Freckle Me Freckle Pen. The Freckle Me Freckle Pen. Okay, <laughs> get it together. You would think by the end of the video, like I'd start making more sense, but I almost feel like the farther in we get, the less sense that I make. Okay, so this is, I usually use like a little felt tip pen, ColourPop has one, but I haven't done an order for them from them in a while and I don't need anything and I do not wanna pay for shipping, so I'm waiting to get that one again. So in the meantime, I got this one from Ulta and it, it, it looks a little dark, it looks a little dark. They only had one shade available. Okay, but it, it does pad out. It does, so it might be okay. I know you either love freckles or you hate them. I know, I'm sorry, but I, I love them. I think that they're so cute and I've always complimented people on their freckles that have them because, I mean, I have them. I just, they get covered up and I don't want it necessarily covered up. Can I shut up now and try the product? <laughs> I feel like I'm talking way too much. I like my freckles is my point. I don't try to cover them up, but it's just what happens. I don't like like the splotchy of my skin that I have. Anyways, before I go off on a tangent, let me cut myself off and let me just start applying this product, okay? I think I'm gonna try to I'll try to go light-handed. Oh, and and then she doesn't. Ooh, this brush tip, it might be too flimsy. Okay, I think I need to start moving it right away. Oh, it's really dark. Oh, that's, I really patted out. I'm smacking myself in the face. No, I don't think this is gonna work. This just looks way too dark for me. Okay, okay, plan B. Cause like, look it, <laughs> that just straight up looks like black dots on it. What I think I could do instead maybe is put it on my finger and then tap it on. It's the same, it's the same, it's the same. <laughs> it's the same. I was onto something for a second. Cause the thing is there's this one right here that looks like, <clears throat> excuse me, that looks like it would be my freckle. But those look like I got black eyeliner on and I tried getting it off. That's not what I'm going for. Mm, it's like too pointy. Uh, like I would have to like color it in a little bit. Yeah, it's like, okay, that's, that's weird. It looks natural if you kind of like, kind of natural. <laughs> to just dot it, it looks too, it like almost deposited too much and I can't really get it off but like if I go in like this a little bit kind of smush it around and then pat it out immediately then it looks right you know what I mean but like that's won't work that won't work it would work if you need like to put down those bigger freckles but then why would you need two different freckle pens that'd be stupid dang it ah uh, maybe if I went over these spots but like I don't want too big of ones 
Oh man, I'll put it on my natural freckle right here to kind of like bring it out a little bit. Yeah, like that looks normal. That looks natural. I guess. Whoa. Oh, whoops. I blood it out and see. Okay, well, whoops, 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 whoops. Okay, so that's that, all right? I think I am done. I think that this is a no-go. This is a no, no, no Revolution Freckle Pen. We had had some duds and we had some faves. I'm obsessed with that CoverGirl liquid eyeliner. That was worth the hunt, hands down. The one thing I wanna say about it though, my one little caveat, the product, amazing. Everything's looking really good. As long as it lasts throughout the day, I'm, I'm gonna be loving this. This is gonna be a favorite of mine. The cap though, doesn't really feel like it goes on nicely. It doesn't have a snap. So I could foresee myself putting, like being in a rush, not closing it all the way, and then it drying out. So be very careful that you make sure that it's actually fully on. I hope that that is not the case, that it dries out because it just doesn't feel as secure as I would want it to. Mm. So I'm bummed about that. But as far as how it went on, it went on so nicely, you guys. Mwah. Best thing is exactly what I look for in a liquid felt tip liner. I love it. You saw what I thought about the brows, the lippies. I liked both of them. I love them. I'm not really feeling any kind of tingling now. It's been on for like half an hour because I went and like did my hair and everything. Kind of did my hair, you know. I'm struggling today. <laughs> Struggle Bus is me. I am on the Struggle Bus today. Hate the eyeshadow product. Did not last. I think that for eight, 16 bucks, no. Like the, the blue, that kind of saved it a little bit because it's so sparkly, but not enough. And it is creasing already. The pink is like almost completely gone. So it's just, it's completely pointless. No, not happy. Instant regret of that purchase. Obviously the freckle pen I just instantly regretted too. I can't. Stars. This is distracting. What else? I liked the primer. I really do. I think that it looks really nice. My skin looks really good. It applied so nicely. I feel like it kind of smoothed out my pores and everything, and I'm enjoying that. I like the blush. I did apply a little bit more of the blush, <laughs> the Pacifica Fluffy Blush, on top of my powder, and it went on really nicely. I'm not seeing any patchiness or anything, so I really like that Pacifica. Good job. So we had some like possible new faves and a lot of and a lot of fails, but. So is the name of the game when you try new makeup products, whether it be high end or drugstore. But that is it for my video today. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a little thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't yet. That way you get notified when I post more videos. Follow me over on Instagram and TikTok for some more silly extended content. But that's it for today, you guys. I gotta go, okay? So I'll see you later, right? Bye.